Hey guys, this is Gatsby with Tape, and today you join me in orbit of Kerbin for my first kind of intro video to a brand new series I will be doing with the Beardy Penguin, Kerbal Rising! You may have heard about this from his videos, and if you haven't, you should go and watch them. Um, but basically, <clears throat> uh, we're going to be doing a new series, a space battle series that will take place in uh, Game Links's planet pack, which is rather massive and nice. Not installed currently in this, but it adds a shit ton of planets, and it is amazing. So we'll be having a massive war, um, a massive space war, in this giant solar system between me and Penguin, and it will be amazing. But for it to become a giant space war, we can't just start fighting immediately. Then it will just be a small space war. So we're actually going to start by expanding outward. Um, fight, uh, expanding outward, taking over planets, building our empires first, before they clash and have the just most destructive, horrific, brutal war ever. But obviously we don't want to be just flying around taking undefended planets. That would be... Well, the, just the most boring thing ever. So we're going to need something to defend them. Some neutral factions. Some pirates, perhaps. And that is where you come in. You, my space pirates, my neutral factions, need to send us some craft. Well, you don't need to. But it would be cool if you sent us some craft. Um, so, basically, we need you to build some, build some ships. Build some vehicles. So that uh, we can find planets that are, you know defended and we have to fight our way through and take over. So basically submissions are open on both of mine and Penguin's discords and the way that works is if you submit your craft to Penguin's discord I will be fighting it. If you submit it to my discord Penguin will be fighting it. So, so don't submit it to both because there's just no point um, but you know pick who you want to fight your ship who you think will do best or worst against it. Don't submit everything to me because <laughs> I'd be the worst. Uh, but uh, no anyway um so yes, and that's how that'll work. But what, what, what are these ships you want from me, Tank? What, what, what are you talking about? You're just saying ships. You want a boat? Actually, I do want a boat. But more than just boats. So the main craft, of course, we're going to need are spacecraft. Um, and there's five types we'll be wanting you to submit. Um, and from smallest to biggest, there are skiffs, corvettes, frigates, destroyers, and dreadnoughts. Um, skiffs will be quite small, you know, fightery looking things, uh, maybe, uh, and corvettes, maybe this sort of size, I think this will be a corvette with its 30mm guns. Dreadnoughts will be giant battleships that will slug it out for maybe hours of, I don't know, maybe the mods won't support that, but you know, it'll be a big fight between a dreadnought. Um, and yeah. Uh, so, there are constraints on this, um, if you download the rules and the mod pack from the description, like I said, um, you'll be able to go through and see the point system for these craft. Um, so, uh, for example, a skiff, the smaller ship, uh, that will cost one point for the hull, and then it can have uh, weapons up to 20 cal uh, 20 millimeters, uh, 20 millimeter cannons, so a 20 millimeter turret would be one point, so if you made a skiff with a with a skiff with two 20mm 20 mm turrets, that would be three points. And if you were to make a, a frigate, which hull, its hull cost four points, and it can have weapons up to 75mm, um, and you, say, made a frigate with uh, four 30mm cannons on it, that would be 12 points. And you can get a real feel for this by downloading the rules and reading them. Um, and we do, we don't want to limit your creativity by putting like real constraints on it, but just be logical. Don't build a, uh, a skiff with a thousand guns on it, because if a, if a skiff for a corvette costs, you know, a, a, a hundred points, we're never going to use it. But if you build maybe a, a corvette that's maybe ten points at the maximum, then uh, that would be useful, or maybe a frigate that's twenty, or, or a skiff that's five or, or two or however many just kind of try and like this is a corvette for example um and it has two 30 millimeter guns and a corvette hull and that's six points it would be rather effective it can fly in with its uh with its two 30 millimeters and that's all it could, all it needs to do it can also carry torpedoes um so yeah that is uh the note on the ships um and but we, we don't just want spacecraft from you um we also we also want some planetary defense craft. Uh, so there's all kinds of different things. Um, there's stationary emplacements, which are just stationary emplacements, like a gun that stays on the ground and shoots. Um, there will be light tanks, medium tanks, and heavy tanks. So, of course, when you get down to the ground, we're going to want to have some tank battles. So uh, you can start building a few tanks and sending them to us. Um, of course, there will be aircraft, uh, fighters, tactical bombers, and strategic bombers. So get building some of them. And maybe some... Uh, flying vehicles for airless worlds because the solar system is a big place not everywhere has air and uh 
Uh, well, maybe maybe atmospheric worlds, but also you know there'll be oxygenless worlds, so sometimes jets won't work. But do send us jets as well, because there are many oxygen worlds in um, Game Links' planet pack. And the last thing, of course, will be naval vessels. Yes, we actually want a few ships from you. Just using the naval parts in the mod pack, of course, it won't be World War II warships. These are going to be fairly just simple enough to build uh, ships that will defend the waters. Uh, so yes, th those are all the different craft we want. Um, so if you download the rules, you can, uh, like I said, you, it'll be best when you uh, download the rules, read through all the different ships, get a feel for it, um, you know, try and build stuff that isn't too crazy. Um, I mean, there's also there's also a bunch of other stuff I haven't mentioned, like there's an armor system. So, um, you know, this is an unarmored craft, and it's a Corvette, so it's hull cost two points. But if I were to put a, say, armor on it, say medium, medium armor, there's three types of armor, uh, light, medium, and heavy. Uh, the medium armor would add a hundred percent to the hull cost, um, and that would add fifty units of armor. So a hundred percent would mean this was a four-point hull. So you get the kind of point there. Um, so yeah, I think that basically covers it. Um, it's it'll be best when you start building and talking in the Discord to start understanding it because it's it's sometimes hard to tell if I've explained these things well um, in. <laughs> in videos because, uh, you know, I don't have any feedback. But uh, anyway, I'm just going to shoot up this ship. I don't really like how this ship looks. It looks gross as shit, but uh, not anymore. Now it looks dead with my 30mm guns. Yeah, all of that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, obviously your craft will be... Yeah, that was a quick space battle. The first space battle. <laughs> Actually, Penguin did the first space battle. Damn. Just to be clear, uh, your craft will uh, not be used by us. Uh, we will be building our own navies to fight each other. Um, they will just be defending defending worlds, sitting stationary. Um, there's also an option uh, to put a Kerbstein drive on craft, which allows them to jump between planets without the use of a carrier. That's what a carrier does. It carries um, uh, ships like skiffs that don't have jump drives on them. But uh, bigger ships can have jump drives on them. But don't put them on your craft. Uh, because they're not going to move, they're just going to sit there defending things. Also, don't build carriers, because carriers are just for moving things. Um, so, <laughs> there's no real point doing that. Um, but yeah, I think, I, th I think I've think i covered everything. Um, oh, and just um, a note about when you submit something to the Discord, submit uh, it with an image, and with the number of points it costs, uh, just so that we don't have to, like, calculate it. Um, we can just uh, look at the craft, be like, oh, that's 10 points, that's 5 points, we'll grab a bunch of these, I've got 30 points to defend this planet with a bunch of pirates, I'll grab a bunch of these and put them in. So yeah, just an image and how many points it, uh, how many points it cost. And its name and class. And also make sure you submit to the uh, Kerbal Rising submissions channels on our Discord, not just like anywhere else. So yeah, if you want more detail on the series, you can t go and watch Penguin's videos. He gives a lot of detail. But yeah, this is just basically a cursory thing. Go and download the uh, the mod pack and the rules. Read the rules. Build the craft. Send them to us on our Discord. Watch Penguin's video. He explains things better. Anyway, yes, so I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you're looking forward to this series. I hope you get building some stuff, start sending it in, start murdering things. Um, well, you'll just be, I guess your ships will be murdering things. You won't actually be murdering things, but, you know, I guess in testing you might hit I should just stop talking and end the video. <laughs> so, yes, I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been KSP with Tape. I will see you next time.